Hey everyone, today we are going to be swatching and reviewing the Midas Cosmetics Perception Palette in collaboration with the Basic B. This palette is really, really beautiful. It's unique, so if you want to see swatches and my thoughts on this palette, just keep watching. <laughs> off I do want to talk about the packaging so this is the little slip that you get and the palette goes into and then the actual packaging of the palette is really cool you can see it says perception and it's like a galaxy theme it's really really pretty I appreciate the details and then this is obviously what the palette looks like you have a really nice variety of mattes and shimmers I always prefer palettes to have more mattes than shimmers and as you guys can see this definitely delivers the only shimmer I don't really care about is deep space because it's one of those more like satiny type shades and I'm not really down for those I want a shimmer that is metallic intense and glittery like I don't want something that's just satiny but that's just my personal opinion I also really like the color story I like that this is basically a very bright and fun palette but then you have deep grungy shades you have your natural shades too so if you like natural looks you can definitely do that I personally prefer doing more bright eyeshadow looks so this is definitely my vibe for a palette and then you also have a black matte and a white matte which I know a lot of people really want in their palette so that they can make a shade more pastel or deepen up a shade so I think that color wise this palette really is it so this is a palette swatched with no flash and as you guys can see it swatched very well I'm pleasantly surprised like I'm not too surprised because I did use this palette on my eyes before I did the swatch video so I knew it was going to be good. I just didn't think it would be this good. It swatched so well. The metallics are super metallic, as you guys can see. Um, some of them are a bit more sheer. Like, these three have a little bit more of a sheerness to them. And then the lilac is just straight up lilac with, like, silver pearl to it. It's really, really pretty. All the mattes swatched really, really well. I'm so like impressed with the shade inspire that blue i've never had a blue that shade swatch so well so i'm very excited to use that on my eyes and this is the palette swatched with flash really just as good it's these shades are just so pretty i can't wait to do more looks with this palette i think the next look i do is going to be a blue look just because that blue shade speaks to me so so much Honestly, though, this is a palette I'm really happy with. Um, the swatches, the brand did, didn't really excite me, but this color story did, and I was able to get it when it was 50% off, so I did, and I'm so happy I did. I think it's definitely worth the money. I would definitely pay full price for this all over again. It's just such a fun palette. So many bright shades, but then you have natural shades. You have really good quality dark shades as well. Like, the darker grungy shades are so, so good, too. Like, I'm just pleasantly surprised all around for this palette. I love it so much. So for the look I did, I basically did a pink look. So I used the shade Evolve, which is that really pretty, like, vibrant, pinky, corally shade. And that's what I primarily used all over the lid and the crease and my lower lash line. I did take a little bit of Fusion, which is the hot pink as well. I then used the shade Psyche and Quantum on my inner half of the lid just to kind of add some dimension to the look which I think the look turned out pretty good I liked it it's super simple and it's only a couple eyeshadows but still I really liked it and it kind of showed me how good the matte formula is considering shades like this corally pink are very hard to formulate I did also show the swatches in natural lighting um through a window so let me know if you guys enjoy seeing uh, the swatches like that and anytime there is natural lighting available i can go and film that as well just so you guys can see how it looks in 
the daylight basically. Every time I can I like supporting smaller brands because you know it's I think it's really important honestly because these people put so much love into their products and so much hard work that when I see a product that I like from an indie brand or a smaller brand I like supporting them and typically uh, shipping can be a bit expensive to Canada which is just how shipping rates are it sucks but um, when I can afford it I like to place orders with smaller brands just to show my support and this is a brand that really like took me by storm like this palette really just solidified my love for this brand and I really hope they do another fun palette like this because I would definitely scoop it up in a heartbeat like I'm not exaggerating what I'm saying this is definitely in my top 10 palettes for 2021 like I love the bright shades I love the dark shades I love the shimmers again the only shade I don't really like in this palette is this shade deep space which is that satin I even like the brown shades like they're they're cute and I don't really go for like natural shades but for natural shades they are nice I think that they pair well with this really dark plummy shade like the fact that the dark grungy shades swatch so good like swatches don't dictate how they're gonna work on the eyes but what they do do <laughs> do do i'm like a toddler um they make me excited to do darker looks and see how they blend on the lids so definitely look out for a dark look because i will definitely do one i'll probably even end up doing a natural look with the browns and like that psyche shade because i think those would be beautiful there's just so many eyeshadow look options which is what i love in a palette like if you're gonna have a lot of shades which i forgot to mention this has five, ten, fifteen, twenty. it has 20 shades so you get a nice variety the pan size is really good too i'm never gonna go through an eyeshadow pan unless i really really love it so for now I'm really happy with this palette. I do love how there's so many look combinations you could do. Like, you could do a pink look, you could do a blue look, you could do a green look, you could do a dark grungy look, you could do a colorful dark grungy look, you could do, like, a two-tone look, you can do a natural look. So many looks, and yeah, like, I'm just really overall happy with this palette, and I'm so glad I picked it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe, comment down below. Any videos you'd like to see me do, go follow my Instagram and TikTok, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What's going on? You crazy, Effie. You crazy.